Hey everyone, this is the Burning Donut, reporting as live as possible in recorded format. I figured I'd do something a little bit more uh, informal today, or is it a little less informal? I don't know, I'm not a smart, I am not a smart pony. I was given a homework assignment by a friend of mine who's all like, hey, we're all bigger to the analysis people, and he's all like, hey, here's what you do. You find three analysis people you don't like, and you try to find something positive to say about them. Well, I'm like, okay, this sounds like a pretty cool idea, right? So I get on to the old use of the tubes, and I'm all like, hey, I'll check out three people I'm gonna fucking I don't like very much. Uh, and before people start judging me on exactly why I don't like these names, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be doing fucking Red Cord, uh, Dr. Wolf, and uh, Lily Pete. Probably not in that order because I'm stupid and, un and unorganized. Okay, so I w got onto YouTube and I I clicked on old Red Cord's channel. And like, okay, I I have some bad experiences with Red Cord. I, I don't don't think he's a you know he he genu genuinely does treat me as a you know fairly bad person in the rift you know in that wonderful chat room and uh, you know he he's kind of annoying to deal with sometimes. But it's like okay whatever. I'm like okay. So I don't like the guy as a person, so I'm like, okay, I'm going to say fuck that, and I'm just going to, like, watch his content and see what I think about it. Because remember, you know, you find three, three people you don't like, try to find some stuff positive to say about them. Okay, so I watch Red Cord's content, and uh, I, 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 I just know that I'm going to fail this because I can't come up with anything. It sounds terrible because... Uh, he, it's not just red cord. This is something I've been seeing like a lot. This is this is like a fairly standard thing I've been seeing in the analysis community is that people do this thing. And it's not really analysis. Is is they essentially just recap the episode? They 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 don't give any personal opinion. They they don't talk about character development. They don't talk about like you know they don't talk about like what characters are in and out of character. They don't really talk about anything. They just they you know, tell you what happened in the episode, which is pretty dumb because you could get the same thing by watching the episode. You know, at first I thought it was like just maybe this like you know uh, at first I thought it was like a lot of. Uh, you know, play clip makes snarky comment. Play clip makes snarky comment. That like you see like in the old uh, in the old nostalgia critic videos. And I, I was like, okay, maybe people are just like you know doing that. But it's literally all there is. The, the, it, like all this person does is fucking recap the video. That's it. I I remember seeing a clip uh, for. Uh, from uh, the Analysis Daily videos that FNGR is uploading. And I was like, oh, hey, he sounds like he might actually know what he's talking about. I'll fig fig figure I'll give it a check. Well, he doesn't. Just recaps the episode. Okay, sorry, there's, there's really nothing that good about that guy's content. Okay, moving on before people write. Uh, the next on my list is Lily Pete. Lily Pete, Jerry Pete, I, I want to point something out here is I try very hard not to be transphobic, yet, yet a lot of people say that simply because I am a cisgendered scum and a horrible, horrible, evil person and I don't really understand everything about transsexuality, then that instantly makes me a transphobic person. I, 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 I've been, I, I have to admit, I have actually, I have actually gained financially by, you know, ribbing this girl a couple times and uh basically like, like, like as far as like I, I i don't like the content i'm not gonna lie like a lot of the analysis that that like lily p gives is honestly really bad especially the way that she like like talks down to her audience she's all like well i'm going to point out all of these little tiny things that you are all way too your, your brains are far too insignificant to understand and that's like it's fucking terrible. You don't talk to your audience like that. But she does it, and I don't know, like, 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 you know, the whole thing about blocking the comments and all that shit, you know. And, and I admit, I, I fucking, I, I, I was like, hey, you know, I'll fucking try to, try to get through onto a Lily Pete, uh, Lily Pete video. I'll post a comment, and I'll see what fucking happens. I felt like I was writing an essay to get on, it, because first you have to appeal to this person. You have to kind of stroke the, the. You kind of have to stroke his, her, oh god, see, see, I did it right there. I, I had to stroke her ego a little bit to just to get my fucking comment through. So you, you, it, it's basically like you have to do like a compliment sandwich. You have to say something nice. You have to say, you know, you have to say the, 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 the constructive criticism and then you have to end it with something nice. So that way, you know, the person doesn't like, like, it, it, it was like I was writing a fucking 
essay for a college class or something. It was it was ridiculous. But I admit I did get through, and admittedly, Lily Pete actually had a relatively decent conversation with me. So, I mean, whether or not the, 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 this, like, SJW super supporting Anita Sarkeesian shit is all just a fucking play to, to, like, suck people in and get views, I don't fucking know. My very limited experience with Lily Pete is, it hasn't been that bad. She seems to be able to take a joke like the best of them and, you know, fucking whatever, moves on. Uh, you know, and ultimately, like, like I talked to a couple of people who claim to be her fans, and they, they usually say that she's a pretty decent person to talk to, and, you know, isn't going to be a complete fucking asshole. Uh, the last person I'm going to talk about is Dr. Wolf. Now, when I try to think about, like, what it is I hate about Dr. Wolf is, is essentially, it's the pretentiousness. It, it's just basically, and it's the kind of thing that always happens when you're, like, the beginner trying to get the content out, and, you know, Here's this other person who gets like a bazillion trillion views without even fucking trying. It, it, it's frustrating. And then you're like, oh, I sure wish I could get views like you. And they're like, well, just work hard and drink your milk, Jimmy. You'll be able to get a bazillion views just like me. Eh. A, lot, a, lot, a lot of these like higher up people don't seem to really understand that what gets them the views is the fact that they can leech off of each other that like uh, a friend of mine was actually pointing out that like every time dr wolf gets uh starts to get a little bit of a lull in his views uh, he 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 does a he does a collab with um with silver quill and he's all like oh there you go guaranteed views all right uh, it's enough talking bad about the person we need to talk about something positive as far as the biggest thing uh, positively about dr wolf Dr. Wolf is admittedly like, like one of the few people who have like stuck through and kept the same formula going for like a long time. Now his, his analysis is kind of so-so. It's not it's not like shocking or anything. You never like really feel like you learned anything by watching his videos. But at least he doesn't do just a simple fucking uh this episode Pinkie Pie walked town and when she walked into town she met Rainbow Dash. Rainbow Dash made a funny joke and well you get the idea. Perhaps the thing I admire most about Dr. Wolf is his work ethic. He gets shit done. He fucking produces shit constantly. There's there's hardly a week that goes by that he doesn't doesn't have some new video that's out and you know admittedly whether or not it's just some dumb little fucking fan fiction reading or an actual video or fucking who knows it's something it's at least something and yeah it's, it's, it's pretty impressive this has been the burning donut talking about like three people i don't like trying to come up with some positive things about them and uh, yeah donut out